I'm Veronica Vance. Coming up, we see what makes Detroit a college town in part one of two. We visit a live streaming media cafe, and then we put our shopping shoes on for a tour of 12 Oaks Mall, so stay tuned. Production funding for this program was made possible by the Detroit Metro Convention and Visitors Bureau, driving tourism growth in Metro Detroit since 1896. More information is available at visitdetroit.com. We may not think of Detroit as a college town, but by all rights we are. We've got top universities right here in an urban setting, surrounded by cars, culture, gaming, music, and sports, all right here in the D. So hey, this gorgeous campus that I'm on, it's University of Detroit Mercy. It's right in Detroit amidst all the action. Let's go check it out. stepped onto campus and I was like, this is exactly what I'm looking for. We are the largest private Catholic university in the state. We have a diverse, comprehensive list of academic programs. So they come to UDM first because of our quality of our academic programs, but mm -hmm, also because sure. of the type of student experience that they will receive on campus as well as in the surrounding area of Detroit. It is a gorgeous campus. And about how many kids go here? We have about 5,000 students enrolled in our undergraduate, graduate, and professional programs. So that would make for like a unique, intimate learning experience, I would imagine. I think we offer the best of both worlds. Mm -hmm. we we offer an intimate in-classroom experience. Our average classroom size is about 22 students, nice. but then we're located in this big urban city. I like the one-on-one, -on -one, and I also get to know my professors better, which is just amazing. What drew you to Detroit? Well, you know, being from New York, big sports town, yes. Detroit is definitely up there with Chicago, you know, mm -hmm. L.A., yeah. and um, the opportunities for sports for me, and then academics, and it's just a really good place of employment and um, sports, and I enjoy all of it. You know, we are Sports Town USA, Detroit, yeah. so we've got all the major sports events in the city as well. And then of course they've got Detroit's nightlife and Listen, there's museums, and... cultural events, mm -hmm. the DIA with, um, which has one of the largest and most significant collections in the United States. Mm -hmm. Concerts, you know, big names always hit Detroit. Great restaurants, yeah. shopping. Yeah. Freshmen, we usually go off campus. And we have Nikki D's down the street and then you can go downtown. They have Pizza Populous, you know, Lions game. Mm -hmm. And um, during our PTV, we actually went on a boat ride down the Detroit River and they oh, took us around. Yeah. yeah, it was great. We've gone mm -hmm. to Mexican town, we've gone to Greek town. Food is always a big part of my life. Coney Island, mm -hmm. um, American Lafayette, you know, they're great. Well, I think urban universities are, are, are a great asset to uh, students who want to really live and also play in the community. And I say play uh, in, a, in a very, very positive kind of sense because you take a campus like ours. We have three mm -hmm. campuses, one at law and dental school, and this mm -hmm. one's from the undergraduate and graduate schools. But students like to be able to uh, be in an environment where they have a sense of community mm -hmm. and also feel like they're really in the city. So it's easy for them to go downtown. Mm -hmm. It's easy for them to go some uh, nearby local communities and it's also a great opportunity for them to be able to do some of their co-ops, some of their internships and also do a lot of service in the community as well. I would totally recommend it to other um, kids. The small community feel but also the opportunities that you have off campus are tremendous. Like going downtown and having so much to do around the city, just a great opportunity. Go Detroit Titans! have a tremendous history, uh, top 50 players of all time, a lot of championships, and just uh, exciting. We have a lot of basketball games on campus, which is nice. Yeah. Our basketball team, if they like win by a certain number of points, they uh, we get um, free buddies pizzas, which is right down the road, and we go there a lot <laughs> because they win a lot. And pizza and like, in hey, college, free yeah. pizza, yeah. <laughs> We're near near downtown. We're mm -hmm. only 10 minutes away. Yep. Uh, we've got a, a, a great campus and uh, great facilities, and we, we play some of the best teams in the country. I'm a huge Red Wings fan, huge Tigers fan. It's great to like be in the city and like really feel the rhythm of the sports, especially because we can get discounted tickets as students, so it's perfect. <laughs> Bonus. Yes. <laughs> Architecture is one of the unique programs here at UDM. Being in the city of Detroit is a really incredible opportunity for us. 
our students have an opportunity to apply their creativity out in the real world, working with real clients in real situations. Detroit is an amazing urban environment where they can tap into the entrepreneurial creativity that's become so prevalent in the city today. What you see here is uh, our IGVC team working. IGVC stands for Intelligent Ground Vehicle Competition. So this is a competition our uh, electrical and robotics engineering students participate every year. Mm -hmm. um, you know, it, it is um, on vehicles which are autonomous, which is the they guide themselves around fields, open fields. Over 50 universities participate in this, mm -hmm. and we have been champions three years in a row. Wow! Oh, congratulations! <laughs> yeah, yeah. But it's all their hard work. <laughs> well, she just delivered her baby. Yeah. I mean, I feel like I'm in a hospital room, right. not a classroom. Right. Nursing is one of the strongest programs here, right? right? Right. One of the things they've been doing this week is doing a simulation, taking care of somebody who gave birth that has some complications. She actually talks. She actually gave birth. They had to know what to do. This is one of the features of our university. We have an excellent simulation lab. A lot of people come here because of that. They see this simulation lab and yeah. think, wow, this is really a neat way to learn. It's a, a very interactive, and we get to go to four different counties around the area, so we really get to see how different hospitals work in the area. You can't get any more downtown than UDM Law School. We're right across from the Renaissance Center. There's the Detroit River right over there. And just around the corner, there's restaurants, nightlife, coffee shops, Campus Marshes Park. You name it, there's a plethora of things to do. One of the things that we offer here that is really unique mm -hmm. um, and brings many uh, Canadian students to our law school uh, is a joint program with the University of Windsor, oh. where if you come to our law school and you mm -hmm. attend Windsor at the same time, there is a joint curriculum where you can then uh, become licensed in both countries. Okay. And similarly, we've started a program with Mexico, with a Mexican law school, where there's also that uh, opportunity for a joint degree. You could become licensed in Mexico, the United States, and Canada. Well, some of the best experiences about attending UODM Law mm -hmm. are just some of the extracurricular activities and a lot of the activities and the groups from the Black Law Student Association and mm -hmm. a lot of the help the professors offer outside of class and just in their own hours. Yeah. It's a real family type of environment. So we can't make a stop at UDM without coming to the dental school. We have over 5,000 living alumni. Oh my, that's, a, that's big. Now you're, what, one of only two in the state? Correct. Uh, University of Michigan and University of Detroit Mercy are the only two dental schools in the state of Michigan. These are actual students performing? These are students who will be graduating next year. They're fourth year dental students. Mm -hmm. They're uh, performing procedures on patients as part of their educational program. and. We see over uh, 14,000 patients a year. We do over 100,000 procedures as part of the educational program. When you think of the D, think of top universities in a vibrant urban setting, which just add to the overall flavor of the D. I love you, DM. Well, that's our show. Thanks for watching. I'm Veronica Vance. And remember, if you would like more information on any of the places we visited, log on to visitdetroit.com. So, until I see you next time, go out and explore on your own and discover the D.